What's going on, family? It's your brother, Robert. So my father, he loves to shower our, my kids with gifts. And he loves to just shower them just random gifts, not even things that really make sense. I remember one story when my daughter was really young, maybe like two years old, and he, we were at an electronic store, and he saw this piano, this electronic piano, and he came up to me. He's like, hey, hey, Robert, can I buy her a piano? And in my mind, I was like, she's two years old. What is she going to be doing playing on this piano? It's going to annoy me and it's just going to make my wife more upset. I was like, I, then I told my dad, I was like, no, you cannot buy her a piano. But anyway, I feel like his heart in wanting to shower his grandchildren with good gifts is the same heart of God here in Psalm 84. It says in verse 11, for the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing for those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. The Lord will withhold no good thing. Friends, as I've said previously, this psalm is a psalm from the sons of Korah. And these sons of Korah are worshiping the dwelling place of God, saying how beautiful the courts are, how beautiful the area is. But even in the midst of worshiping the location, they are not forgetting to worship the God of the location. They are acknowledging the attributes and characteristics of God. And this last attribute that they bring out here in at the end of verse 11, they say that God will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. Just as my father desired to give good gifts to his grandchildren, the Lord desires to give good things to his people. Just like a son, just like a father would want to give his son his very best the Lord desires to give us his very best. And you know what? He did that. He did that by giving us his son, Jesus Christ. And guess what? If you believe in him and his redemption, you get the very best that he has to offer, eternal life with him forever. What an awesome gift and privilege. But there's something else here. There's something else that this verse says. It says he just doesn't just give stuff willy-nilly and all crazy. It says that he will not withhold no good thing to those who do what is right. There is a stipulation here. There is a, a, a contract in place, if you will, that God is saying that we have to do our part. We have to do what's right before him. And when we do that, when we serve him with our whole heart, when we live out our calling, when we do what God has told us to do through inspiration, through his word, and through the spirit, it says those good things, those great things, he won't withhold from us. So the question is, if, if we want to be recipients of all these good things that God has, the question is, where are we not doing what's right? <laughs> Where are we not doing what God desires? If there's something that popped into your heart or into your spirit after I said those words, that, that's the Holy Spirit giving you a little nudge on, on, on the shoulder saying, this is an area you need to work on, to walk in the fullness of what God has for you. Friends, I just come to encourage you today that God gives good things to his people, but he gives it to those who obediently follow after him. Jesus says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So with that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this reminder that you give good things to your people. And your people are those who follow after you wholeheartedly and completely. Help us to do that, Lord, so we can be recipients of all the good things you have for us in this life, and in the life to come. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So thank you for studying with me. Come back for the final devotional in this Psalm 84 series. God bless.